good morning students today let us proceed our chapter gravitation and we will do the topic newton's law of gravitation so students i am showing you here newton's has given a brilliant idea for whole universe he said that in the universe every two masses attract each other either the mass is very small or the mass may be heavenly bodies so see students here i am showing you i have taken two body body a and body b body a have mass m1 body b have mass m2 m1 is exerting force on mass m2 but directed in its own masses same way m2 is exerting force on m1 but direction is towards m2 means m2 ne force lagaya m1 pe लेकिन उसको अपनी ओर खींच रहा है M1 ने फोर्स लगाया M2 पे लेकिन उसको अपनी ओर खींच रहा है सो बोथ आर एग्जर्टिंग फोर्स फ्रॉम न्यूटन्स थर्ड लॉ दिस फोर्स मस्ट बी इक्वल दैट मीन्स एक्शन इज इक्वल टू रिएक्शन बट हेयर वॉट हैपन्स M1 वन इज ग्रेटर देन एम वन इज लेस देन एम टू सो एम टू विल attract m1 because its mass is greater it will apply more force and m1 is get attracted towards m2 same thing is happening in a universe earth mass is more it is attracting everybody everyone towards its center so first thing student to remember mass of the whole body is concentrated at its center so earth is also attracting everybody towards its center so here you see newton has given a law first thing force of attraction is directly proportional to product of their masses so we can write this force is directly proportional to product of their masses if m1 increases force of attraction increases if m2 increases force of attraction also increases that means it is directly proportional if both this increases then also force of attraction increases yes we have seen here next he has given the law force of attraction is inversely proportional to square of the distance between them square of the distance distance is suppose we have taken m2 center of the mass and this is center of the mass and we have taken distance r so i am showing you how it is inversely proportional now you see here f is inversely proportional to r square if distance between them increases force of attraction decreases and if two masses are at lesser distance means distance decreases force of attraction increases yes this is applied that the from the uh, earth and moon distance is more so force of attraction is less that's why earth is not falling on the moon is not falling on the earth but moon is attracting earth and earth is also attracting the moon so when we combine equation 1 and equation 2 we can write this one as force is proportional to m1 m2 by r square we have to remove this proportionality so in physics we are writing one constant it is g m1 m2 by r square g is known as universal gravitational constant universal gravitational 
constant. Value of G has been found by our scientist Cavendish and he has given the value that is 6.673 into 10 to the power minus 11 SI unit we also know Newton meter square per kg square. So we are having this. Now students anywhere you go in the universe either on the sun or on the Uranus or on the surface of the earth the value of G will be always same that's why it is known as universal gravitational constant now you see here why this is universal gravitational constant one more point is there that it is applied in whole bodies all the bodies whether it is very small or it is very large very small or it is heavenly bodies. Everywhere it is applied that means it is very good things. So here we are saying universal gravitational constant. Now just see what happens to the force between two objects if the mass of one object is doubled. Ma mass of one object is doubled so let us write let let us double m1 so we can write m1 that is equal to 2 m1 we know since that f is equal to g m1 m2 by r square so let us take f nu f nu for mass should be double so we can write this one as g 2m1 m2 by r square. So we can write this also as d uh, just you write this 2g m1 m2 by r square means 2 just see here g m1 m2 by r square is nothing but f. So we can write here 2f. So you see f nu nu force will be twice of that force that means if mass doubled the force will double so force of attraction is directly proportional to product of their masses come for second questions when distance between the object is doubled so here what let us take r as 2 r we know f is equal to g m1 m2 by r square. So let us take f nu for distance doubled. So we can write g m1 m2 by 2 r whole square. So it can be written as 1 by 4 g m1 m2 by r square. So, you write this as F nu is equal to 1 by 4 F. So, here you have seen that when we are increasing the distance, force of attraction decreases. That means it will decreases 1 fourth. Okay. 